In the last year, LG's really taken a prominent hold in the cell phone space. They've dropped a couple really good devices this year with the LG G6 and the LG V30. The V30 is really showing a lot of promise. Very feature-rich, excellent hardware, good design, and it also supports T-Mobile's newest Band 71, 600 megahertz spectrum, which definitely adds something to the device's capabilities. So it definitely is garnering a lot of attention. But one thing I keep coming across, and it's through digital media on YouTube and other uh, channels, media channels, as well as online and reading and different blogs and websites and Reddit, is that there are some issues with LG's display technology. Now, LG has invested really heavily into the OLED panels. I believe their technology is P-OLED, and you know, they've put a lot of money into it. And they're going to be looking to produce a lot of these displays for not only their own devices, but for other devices, including the Google phone, uh, the LG made Pixel XL2. And they're probably going to be supplying some other phones with their displays as well using this technology. And so far, I'm hearing bad things. I'm hearing that the display angles are poor, the viewing angles. I'm um, hearing the calibration on the panels is below standard and below average. And I'm not really sure if this is the case with 100% certainty, but it's something I keep coming across, and many people are noting it. Now, if you're a very picky person, it's probably something that you'll notice, but I think it's one of those situations where if you're not comparing it to anything else, you probably wouldn't notice it as an average user. But for anybody who has an LG V30, or for anybody that has the new Pixel XL2 that's made by LG, or any of the uh, newer LG phones that maybe have the POLED technology displays, let me know if you have any experiences with these issues and deficiencies. You know, I'm not sure if these are going to be able to be uh, fixed using software updates. Maybe it's just calibration or if it's actually a manufacturing design flaw. So I'll keep you guys posted to the channel. But if you do have any of the newer phones with these displays, maybe we could um, hear what you have to say in your opinion in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you guys. You know, a display is the most interactive portion of a smartphone. And I think it should be top-notch, especially when you're spending upwards of eight, nine hundred, even a thousand dollars on a device. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from people that maybe have these phones in hand. So we'd like to hear from you. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please give the video a thumbs up and a share. Subscribe to the channel for future videos and future content. Again, this is Sneed from Steam Mobile Tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.